So you want to write a string into EEPROM to be able to save it for later, but the problem is, as you may know, each address of the EEPROM memory can only contain one byte of data. You can't just store a string like this on a EEPROM address. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can solve that problem and how you can store an entire string into EEPROM as well as read it back in your program. Here is how we are going to proceed. So first, you can see I have a string here, hello, which contains one, two, three, four, five characters. So we are going to get the length first and store the length as the first value in the EEPROM. So if you give an address, let's say 10, then on the address 10, you will have the number five, which corresponds to the length of the string. And then each character, we are going to store it on a following byte. So if this is address 10, this will be address 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And one character can be stored actually as a byte. So that's not a problem to store just one character in the EEPROM memory. And well, why do we write the size actually? This is because when we actually want to read the string from the EEPROM memory, we don't know when the string is gonna end. So maybe you start reading and the string is 5 character long or maybe it's 10 character long or 20 character long. When you put the length first, you know that after this you have to read 5 values and then put those values together and you have the string back. And now back to the Arduino IDE, let's write the code too. So first we are going to write a string into the EEPROM memory. So I'm going to include, first of all, the EEPROM library and then i'm going to create a function named void so write string into eprom which will take two parameters first the address so the starting address we want to write from and then string let's say str okay so first we need to get the length so i'm going to name it length the length of the string, so str.length. And we are going to write, so with eprom.write, on this address here that we have provided, we are going to write the length. After that, we can use a for loop. So let's put for loop with int i. Let's create an i variable, which is a counter here, starting from zero, and then i strictly lower than length and then i++. plus plus. So with this, we are going to be able to go through all of the characters inside the string. Okay, the string is kind of an array of characters. So by doing this, you start at zero, you stop at the length minus one, you can go through all of the characters or all of the elements inside an array. And for each character inside the string, we are going to write so eprom.write, where are we going to write it? So address, we are going to start from the address. We are going to add one because at this address here, we already wrote the length. So we need to offset it by one. And then we need to add also i, the counter. So the first address for the first character will be address plus one plus zero. So if we provide 10, the length will be uh, written at the address 10, and then the first character will be written at the address 11. The second character will be uh, written at the address 12, because now i will be equal to 1. So 10 plus 1 plus 1, 12, etc., until we reach the end of the string. And so what character are we going to read? As I told you, a string is actually an array of characters, so we can use str and then brackets with the index. And that's it for the write function. We get the length, we write the length, and then using the length, we can go through all of the elements of the array, which is the string. We increment the address every time with i, and then we take the character that corresponds to the index. And now the string is written inside the EEPROM memory. Now I'm going to create another function that will return a string, and that I'm going to call read string from eprom and this will take one parameter 
address. So this will be the opposite of the write function, okay? So now the first thing I need to do if I want to read the string, I need to get first the length, okay? To know how many characters I need to read from the EEPROM. So let's get the length. Actually, I'm going to use int. So that will be easier later in, in the program. That's the same. So we're going to get the length, which is EEPROM.read from the address. Okay, now we have the length of the string we want to read. What I can do now is I can create an array, so char data with length like this. So a string here, this is the Arduino data type string. Thing is that we are going to read one character by one character and fill this array. And once we have filled this array, we are going to create a string object, okay, just by giving it the uh, data array. Okay, you can create a string object directly from an array of char variables, okay. Char is a character stored on one byte. And so the length of the array is, of course, the length of the string. And now we do four, so int i is zero, and then i is strictly lower than length. So that's why I have used int here, so we can just compare int with int. That, that's going to make it simpler for the compiler. And then i++. plus plus. So as you can see, that's the same thing as here, okay? When we write or when we read. And so what do we do here? Well, for the index i, we are going to do data i is equal to eprom.read address plus one plus i, just like we did before. So address plus one, because of course the address is for the length. So we need to add an offset of one and then i to go through all of the elements, okay, following the previous addresses. Now, after this for loop, we have a complete string inside the data. So we actually don't have the string. We have an array of characters. And I'm going to do something else here I'm going to add a new character at the end of the string. So I'm going to do data length, and actually I'm going to do plus one here. Okay, so I add plus one in the length of the character array. So the last index will be length, okay, because we start to count from zero, so from zero to length. So data length is equal to, and then I add backslash zero, okay, backslash zero, character, which is a null character. And this actually, when you create a string, it's automatically added, but you don't necessarily uh, see it. And it will help when you actually try to print the string with the serial library, with serial.print or println. So this is not going to add a character to your string. This is just going to make it more compatible with other functionalities of the Arduino. And then what we can do is we return. We need to return a string object. So we can return string and data here. So we are going to construct a string from the data array that we have here. And well, that's pretty much it. So now let's test okay, this code. What I'm going to do in the void setup, I'm going to do so serial dot begin with 9600, which is pretty common, pretty standard. And then I'm going to write. So I'm going to call this. And I'm going to write on the address, let's say 15. I'm going to write, hello, how do we? Okay, so as you can see, I have uppercase letters, lowercase and special character. And then I'm going to do read, train from EEPROM. And I'm going to also to provide the address 15. And this time I'm going to put serial dot print ln like this. So I write a string to EEPROM and then I read from EEPROM. So basically, if the serial dot print ln prints hello Arduino, it means that all the code here is working. So let's test this code. I have connected my Arduino board. Now I upload to my board. Let's say EEPROM string. And now let's 
open the serial monitor and let's see what we have and we have hello arduino so this is correctly working you can write the string okay in one program and then in another program run you can read the string okay, to get the complete string that you have written before if you want to be able to get the written code you can also check out the written tutorial that goes with this video tutorial the link is in the description and well one thing you could improve here is let's say you want to write multiple strings and you don't necessarily know how long each string is going to be so in that case what you could do is to when you write you return the address okay for the last byte that you've written and then you can chain the different function let's say you have three strings so the, you write the first string starting from an address and then you write the second string starting from the address at the end of the first string plus one etc etc so that's an ID for an improvement here and well now you know how to write and read a string from the EEPROM memory if you liked this video subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future also check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point links in the description all right thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses